Have you ever thought about trying to fly with using only helium balloons? You probably have, along with many other YouTubers that have actually attempted it. Hi, my name is Chad Goodwood, and I went to Balloon College to get my BAD, Balloon Associate's Degree. Today I'll be explaining to you how you can learn to fly with balloons too. Just a quick disclaimer, I do not condone actually attempting this because it's kind of dangerous and you might die. Here's a quick list of some people that have tried this stunt, and I'll go ahead and spoil the end of their video, it didn't work. Jake Paul, um, I think he's just a bit too muscular and heavy to pull this off, so I'll give him a pass for failing, because, you know, the dude's like, mm, he's ripped, so. Jojo, gave it a try, and no, it's, no, she did not even, no. I don't think so. Luckily, she let all the balloons go into the sky to feed the poor homeless animals. She's so, gosh, she's so selfless. I love her. God, I love JoJo. Look at this thumbnail and title. <laughs> she made history, y'all. And then we got this dude, Adam Saleh. I'm sorry if I pronounced his name wrong. He tried it using the aluminum balloons, which is a nice touch. Nice. But of course, it did not work. And according to his video title, he flew his baby with them. But don't worry, he didn't even get enough balloons for that, so every, everyone's fine. And then we got Steven Scherer. He tried it using like four giant balloons, but actual respect to them for indicating that it didn't work in the thumbnail. It did, however, lift a cardboard cutout into the sky! Oh, that's impressive! It, lift, it lifted a piece of cardboard. That's a success right there. So, I mean, they might not have lifted a human being, but a, a cardboard cutout of a human is the next best thing. Yeah, they get a pass because they're a kid's channel. Uh, lastly, the main one of this video that I'm gonna be going over is Mr. Beast because he tried it twice. And the second time he used leaf blowers, which in my opinion is kind of cheating because then you're not using just balloons, you're using balloons and leaf blowers. Uh, it didn't work for him either, and actually his attempt was the most dangerous attempt out of all of these. Most life-threatening one. But I'll talk about that later. So I'm not going to bore you with the math that goes into finding out how many balloons you need to fly. Alright, so I actually wrote and recorded this entire script and then did an experiment just to record and add to my video, and it turns out that each balloon does not actually hold what I initially had thought that A would hold, which is 14 grams. I put two and a half quarters on a balloon, and it didn't lift it. I had to use three times more balloons than I had originally thought. I used three balloons for two and a half quarters. I guess my balloon education has failed me, and I need to go back to balloon school now. Apparently, I was using 9-inch balloons, and my Google search was referring to 12-inch balloons. But it just happens to be three times more balloons than I had thought originally. So all I need to do is multiply the number of balloons by three. And these are all just approximations anyways. So it's not, not a major setback. Okay, so three balloons can hold about 14 grams. Which, to my fellow Americans out there, that's about half an ounce. And to put that into perspective, um, half an ounce is about a slice of bread. Or two and a half American quarters. Um, I'll put the formula right here on the screen so you can calculate how many balloons it would take for you personally you see that bread? to fly. All you need to know is your weight in pounds get it, get or kilograms. I'll put both equations up there. So you can pause the video now. Get the bread. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no! I mean, no! So bad. Hi, welcome back. How many balloons did you need to float? That's a lot more than I needed. Dang, and I'm a pretty large person. Go ahead and share in the comments how many balloons you need to fly. Alright, so now, how many balloons would it take for Mr. Beast to fly? I don't know how much Mr. Beast weighs, but I'm gonna go with 170 pounds as an estimate. I think he looks like a normal sized boy, he's not fat, 
he's not like super tall and lean or anything, so I'm gonna give him 170. I'm sorry if I'm going over, and you're welcome if it's less. <laughs> so if you weigh 170 pounds as well, pay attention, because this is for you too. A 170 pound person only needs about 16,524 balloons to float. It's not too bad. Keep in mind, this is an estimate though. Um, if I tried this personally, I would purchase an additional 10 or 20% more balloons just in case. Now the reason why I said his attempt was the most dangerous was because he was actually the closest to pulling it off. Notice the other people didn't even come close and one of them barely got cardboard to float and Jojo got a doll to float. Mr. Beast on the other hand, it looks like the balloons actually had a lot of tug, but not quite enough. His second attempt, the mesh net that was holding the balloons together actually ripped and the balloons spilled out. See, that's a problem right there. If he was off the ground and those balloons started spilling out like that, where do you think you're gonna go? You're gonna go down. So, that's why I'm saying this was the most dangerous attempt out of all of them. Okay, so if I were to try to do this, I would at least, I would be fully tethered at all times, which I believe he was, you know, have a string attached to you, uh, so that way you don't end up just going way up into the sky. I mean, unless you want to do that, <laughs> by all means. And I would have each balloon individually tied down so that way you don't have to use a net because when you have all those balloons pushing upwards on the net, it's applying force to some of this. It's more localized around where on the net it's applying force to and it's more likely for the net to rip. Alright, so if I was a 170 pound man, which I am not, and I was trying to use normal size balloons, I would fill up about 18,000 balloons and dangle down from my harness four gallons of water. Maybe even have a parachute or something if you want to be safe, but, but that's only if you're going up super high. That way, uh, if you start to descend while you're in the sky, you could just stab a jug of water and you won't fall as fast, you know, lose some weight. So in balloon school, I learned that your average clown ties upwards of 5,000 balloons a year. You basically have to be a clown for a year to inflate this many balloons. Are you crazy? There must be a better way to do this. So I would recommend using three foot balloons if I were doing this. Apparently a three foot balloon lifts up to 339 grams. So a 170 pound person with four jugs of water and some clothes on, I would say you need maybe about 176 giant balloons. That's much easier to inflate and tie. So now, how much does all this cost? For those of you wondering, well, it looks like you can get these balloons on Amazon for about 950 for seven of them. So if we need 276 balloons, I'd say we should go ahead and buy about 300 of them. That would cost us $385. But I'm sure you could get it cheaper if you buy them in bulk somewhere else. I'm basing the estimated price off a random balloon company in Seattle, but the helium should cost around $4,268. So a grand total of $4,653 to fly with giant balloons. That's not bad. That's not bad, especially if you're Mr. Beast. You know, I'm saying, maybe if you've got a third video, if you're gonna give this another try, you know, try some bigger balloons, boy. Another thing I've kind of noticed is, well, not noticed, but another thing that I thought about is that helium balloons lose some of their strength after some time. I don't know how long it takes to fill up thousands of balloons when you're doing the small ones, but I can imagine that the first balloons that you fill up with helium are losing a little bit of their, their upwards force over time. So when you're on your 6,000th balloon, maybe 500 balloons are no good anymore, so you really need to fill up another 500, but by then you lost another 500 balloons, so I really think maybe having multiple helium tanks, which they did, but you know, have people like assembly lining this, just everyone going hard at it, fill up 300 whatever amount of three foot balloons, you can do it man. You don't need those leaf blowers. Leaf blowers is a dumb idea. Get rid of the leaf blowers. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I'll learn something from this video, maybe you didn't, but either way, yeah, that's what it takes to fly with balloons. I just wanna point out that this has been done by many people before. Like, I mean, 
it's so it's so weird that you can type in on YouTube flying with balloons and like the top like five or six people that have tried it are all like you know these big name YouTubers and then you got like you have some random obscure like some Canadian guy flies on a lawn chair like what that's badass dude no but no one cares though they want to see these other people do it and they don't even do it they fail at it and they get like so many more millions of views it's crazy but uh, anyways yeah this has been done like multiple times so. I don't know you, you figure these people would like do some research like how many balloons do I I kind of am envious of the experimental approach just like keep filling balloons until it works like that's kind of fun you know but uh, I, I don't know I feel like maybe you should calculate it out and try to come up with a reasonable number so that way you have expectations and know about how long it'll take how much it'll cost things like that so if you stuck around for this whole thing my god thanks for sticking around to the end really appreciate it um if you learned something if you enjoyed this video if you moderately enjoyed this video if you skipped around and saw a couple of things if you exhaled through your nose hit subscribe all right but for real though thanks for watching have a good one mm -hmm.